Hi, I'm Thomas Lockie. I'm from Los Angeles. Since gill netting was banned, there's been a large resurgence in the number of fish in the Santa Monica Bay. In 1990, I bought my first underwater housing, something like this for a Sony Handycam. Throughout the bay, from Malaga Cove to Point Doom, the halibut are back. The scenes you are about to see are true. The names of the reefs have been changed to protect the innocent. Let's go on up to Malibu and take a look. The local names are the names of legend. Newport Beach. The Wedge. Portuguese Bend. Palos Verdes and San Pedro. The canyons of the Santa Monica Mountains. PCH, Pacific Coast Highway. Malibu. Villas. The Getty Museum. Many homes above the water. Halibut. It's an old English word meaning bot or fish and holy, thus holy fish. California halibut are cousins to the giant Pacific halibut and the Atlantic halibut. They're born in the open ocean and they move into estuaries and bays, seeking out shallow water where they can feed. Predatory fish would love to snack on tasty baby halibut. We're here at Big Rock in Malibu, land of brush fires and Hollywood actors. Let's go take a look at the lifestyles of the rich and tasty. Much of the video you see in this movie is shot while beach diving, where the visibility is not very good. But many times there's more fish in shallow water by the beach than on the lee side of islands. That is where you find newborns and baby halibut. The kelp beds are farther out. Zebra perch boil on the inside. Baby stingrays blast off the sand. Inquisitive calico bass and sargo. Baby horn sharks and larger adults meander through the surge. Sea cucumbers latch onto the reefs. And the queen of the halibut habitat the eel grass beds of Southern California. Baby halibut seek out the shallow eelgrass beds, searching for varied terrain and cover.
young aggressive calico bass can be teased to strike by flipping them tasty chunks of chum. A school of shad hover over a waiting youngster who will explode up to catch them. Rubber-lit perch, kelp bass, and sargo congregate near the kelp trees. Starfish add color. Stingrays might snack and munch on tasty clams. Notice how this baby butt is flaring his lateral fin before he springs. but the most endearing of all are halibut the size of tortillas and potato chips. Forced to survive, they learn to hide at an early age in shallow sand flats near boulders and boiler rocks. These are not halibut, but sand dabs and turbot. In an undersea love song, with no foggy images, crabs scuttle across the floors of noisy seas, hole up behind rocks waiting to strike. the exclusive community of Malibu Colony Road. Angry youth, we know them well. They're putting on weight. They're moving out to deeper water. This is Malibu Colony, and up the beach there is Latigo Point. I grew up here, diving here. This is one of the best places in Los Angeles to see shorts. Young halibut move out to deeper water and hunt in and along the shallow areas close to the eelgrass beds. They love sand roads and sand satellite dishes. Let's go check out some shorties. Point Doom in the distance. Thicker kelp farther off the beach. Walls and clouds of bait fish attract bigger fish with mean jawlines. Jaws that will catch jack smelt join sharks in the hunt. Over the sand flats appears a stray cabazon. Curiously flitting across the sand and rocks to settle into the reef and hide.
halibut seek out rock piles. This one is out in the open waiting to pounce. They ply the same area as schooling leopard sharks. A wolf pack of fellow hunters on the prowl. Watched over by seals, they are always curious and guarded so as not to become a meal themselves. Corbina in the waves and surge. Yellowfin croaker. and the predatory calico bass. All use the surf zone to their advantage, blending in with their surroundings. A congregation in the littoral zone. The waves bring aliens from the open ocean for them to investigate, to see if there is a stray meal close by or small fish under the canopy. A school of Sargo groups itself defensively at the sight of schooling leopard sharks that prowl the rock flats and urchin-covered reef. Tiny shrimp and minnows attract predators, and even baby grebes feed unafraid. Allowing the passing freediver and his camera to witness a duet that moves in seamless ballet. They have a powerful kick. The ability to hide. Blend in with the weeds as well as sand. floating detritus and vegetation. These are the special qualities of the Paralictus californicus. We continue our journey at PCH, passing Canaan Doom Road and pull into Zuma Beach. An excellent day to dive. Off goes the Chinese fire drill, because we're dying to get in the water.
Right in here, close to the beach, is where some of the biggest halibut are found. Right here is the subterranean trench, the headwaters of the Santa Monica Bay. This is where I speared my biggest fish to date, a 41 pounder. But today we're here to film them. Let's go take a look and see what we can find. Big Doom means rocks, seal rocks, arches, and swim throughs. When the season opens, lobsters become an increasing temptation. Walking in the open and hold up under the rocks. They prove to be an antenna waving distraction to our search for flatfish. A carapace covering a delicate meal. This large specimen was not so lucky. He'll end up on someone's plate after the final sauna, covered in butter. Deep water means more scouring to locate our quarry. Barred sand bass in the flat open spaces Shovel nose guitarfish and halibut use the same techniques. Imagine if a big halibut saw a baby lobster ambling out in the open. Would he want to eat it? They can startle you when they kick off the sand, so always be at the ready. Octopus slither and crawl along the sand and rocks. Eyes bulging up to watch you. They love to play tag. Ink you in the eye if you get too close. Jumbo calico bass. Fat female lobsters. They are all approachable. Free diving is the sport of breath held diving with no tanks.
Free diving is the quintessential sport to observe what some divers call ghost fish, or WSB, the enigmatic white sea bass. As you become a good free diver, you might even dive down and pet one. Waves pound the shore in Cali. Halibut have a relationship with surf and the surf zone. They hug the coast, anything that gives them an advantage over their prey. Turbulence is an opportunity. That back and forth motion, a ballet, a waving, relaxing, sandy dance that clarifies into the fish of your life. If you are a hunter or cameraman, it doesn't matter. You just have to go and search, put in the hours and adjust your eyesight. This is no fish story. At dusk, we wait. We walk our haunts and stuck in our ruts, sip our brews and dream of that million dollar day we win the lottery. I'm gonna make you a hellacious indecent proposal. You divulge to me all your halibut spots, I give you a million dollars. If you refuse, I get to sleep with your wife. But some things are better not to cash in, because it gets better. We haven't shown you free diving at night. With no tanks on your back, you can cover more terrain. Everything calms down. Lobsters come out. Fish don't spook as easily. A secret spot, the glory hole. You can even grab them by the tail. Observe them up close and personal. Notice his eye rotating, following the camera, but not fleeing. And the rarest of all, seeing one thumping herself into the sand to disappear.
it's time to hook up the boat and head to the boat hoist. Wet the fiberglass that hangs out in the yard. The Santa Monica Bay can be accessed through Marina del Rey and King Harbor Redondo Beach. Clean up the mess and motor out to sea. For truly large halibut, you have to go offshore. Let's head on up to County Line and find some big ones. The deep blue water a scoop of fresh squid and horse mackerel circulating in the bait well to aid us in our search. We cross the deep water of the bay, hopping in at floating kelp. Suddenly, the visibility clears, and we are greeted by strange jellyfish. Amoebas of the deep. An alien assortment carried by the current. Open ocean brings us a physics of string theory. tendrils that curl up to your touching and self-defense. Whales appear on the horizon. We are shadowed by stubborn gulls looking for handouts and dolphin off the prow. We're heading to Deep Hole off the coast of Ventura County Line, breeding ground of giants and world records, 
black sea bass make an appearance. Silently unafraid. Pups at Doom Seal Rocks can't contain themselves and just have to play an intricate game of tag and hide and seek. Their enthusiasm hard to contain. Salps float by, tunicates that flower in the open ocean. These are rare sights for a diver of many years. Here, the predators are bigger. Powerful swimmers must feed more aggressively and more often. As such, they look for concentrations of schools of bait fish. Halibut follow and hone in on bait fish. Sardines and mass attract 20 to 30 pounders with pot bellies. Here you can see this halibut's gills opening and closing until he finally spooks. The diver able to get close because of the weeds. Angel sharks. Large stingrays. Sea urchin munching bat rays sit head to head with big halibut. Sometimes it gets crowded even underwater.
covered with a thick mucus, the sand latches onto their bodies. They are true chameleons with sand, forming a thick overcoat as it adheres to their backs. Here you can see how their mucus creates slimy membranes of filaments that wave and attract bait right up to an awaiting mouth. Powerful open ocean swimmers, and expert burrowers, They tighten and load their spring before they blast off the bottom or escape with a flick of the tail. All images in this film were filmed free diving, without the aid of scuba tanks or hookah hoses. What have we learned about halibut? Halibut are slimy. Halibut are chameleons. In essence, they're bottom feeders. But they're noble animals, worthy of our attention. Thanks for diving with us. Now get out there and find yourself some halibut. is a relative of the Atlantic halibut and the Pacific halibut, which grow to ginormous sizes. Angry, angry, angry youth. They're angry. Let's go take a look at the lifestyles of the rich and tasty. Ah! Angry youth. They're angry. They're young. They're adolescents. They're angry. They're fighters. All right, let's go They're survivors. Up. That's good? Yep. Let's go up to Deep Hole in Ventura County Line and take a look. Whee! <laughs> 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 <laughs>